Yeah, okay. So we're we're not gonna drink, we're just gonna ride the hobo. Oh, yeah. That's what 7,000 proof vodka haul will do to you. <laughs> Jesus. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the most unpredictable series on the internet. Three random games. And to start things off, we have a game called Wipe It, which was actually recommended by a lot of you guys, and I don't really understand why. Like, apparently, you're out of toilet paper. Find places to clean your behind while avoiding gleeful people. I'm not sure how gleeful these people are gonna be once they encounter a poop-covered stranger, <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Of course it couldn't just be a quick little poop. Or like just an easy one, something that falls right out of you. Not that big a deal. No, it had to be like the Normandy beach of porcelain World War III between my legs right now. I have no toilet paper. No other stall in this place has toilet paper. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. Why am I not wearing pants? I mean, I have pants, but I feel like they would serve me much better draped over my dong than my forearm. A better question might be, why did this guy not follow the code of conduct? Like, there are really strict steps when these things happen. First you lose the socks, then you lose the underwear, and if you didn't wear either like this idiot, then you lose the hipster beanie. Uh, excuse you? You can't record it here! Oh, you made me follow my poop! <laughs> Will somebody get Dr. Disrespect out of the bathroom? No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop recording me. Stop recording me. Ah! <laughs> Will, will you please stop recording my poopy butthole? That's not okay, right? No flash photography when it comes to my wet taints. Just, just leave me alone. I need to lose them. Hopefully they don't record me wiping my butt on the Mona Lisa. Oh, you saw nothing, okay? You saw absolutely nothing. I can see the Boomer Facebook posts already. A pantsless man can't figure out how to wipe butt on plant in airports. It's gonna be like a 15 second long video taken by gleeful people. You guys don't seem all that gleeful. Why can't I wipe my butt on whatever I want? There's this luggage, there's garbage, there's uh, a fountain. Oh, okay, so you can only... That wasn't a wipe. Uh, why did you turn to face the camera when you did that? Okay, now run away and- oh my god! TSA is not gonna be happy when they find a floater in the fountain. Here we go. Okay, this is more what I was thinking of, right? Just to- you couldn't have used the underside of the tablecloth. You had to use the side that people eat on. Why are you just standing? Standing there is better than falling over, okay? You're giving everybody the money shots. We only need to find one more place. There's got to be one more thing around here that is suitable for our bum. Like, a uh, fire extinguisher. What? Okay, we're 100% pooped out. Th thank you, people. Only three pictures taken. I don't think those were pictures. And that's the entire game. Three photos and I'm internet famous. Everybody wants to see me work my magic. Three random games. Our next game is gonna be somehow even weirder than the last. It's called Heads Off, and you guys might recognize this head because this is made by the same people who made Battle Cats. I don't think it's anything like Battle Cats, but it's, it's definitely something. I have a general idea how the game works, but it's really hard to put into words, so I'll just show you, okay? I'm ahead, and I scream. I need to scream when facing down to head in the right direction and collect these strange little ghost sperms and hopefully not fall to my death. That's very important. Also, I was born in a hotel in Antwerp and raised by a pack of wolves. Hotel wolves? Uh, at year one, my cat dies of old age. No, no, not kitty. They say old age, but it was probably the hotel wolves. At two years old, I become the spokesperson for the banana-only diet. 
Wolves are not going to be happy about that. I'm trying to get back here and collect these. There we go. And now we can move on with life. Year three. I was scolded by teacher for running in the hall. I can run and go to school at age three? These wolves did a great job raising me. I mean, other than the fact that I'm a bodiless head who just screams all the freaking time. Okay, screw those sperm. We're just going to keep going. Year four comes fourth in national polls. Am I going to try to be president? Uh, year five, I, I choke on a hot dog and I'm taken to the ER. I hope I'm okay. <laughs> Choking is really all I can do. <laughs> Six years old, switches from 2% milk to skim. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. The wolves raised you better than that head. <laughs> Seven years old, I buy two ferrets to keep as pets. What else would you do with ferrets? Because the wolves probably have them as snacks or something like that. <laughs> Will you quiet down? I'm trying to raid your life. Uh, year eight? I cycle across Mongolia. That's pretty impressive for an eight-year-old. Just learned how to bike and then boom, Mongolia. Year nine tries to change the car's muffler. Tries? It's usually not a good thing. It's really either a succeed or fail kind of thing. Uh, year 10, I'm kicked out of a car after fighting with a friend. That's, that's not a very good thing to have your year be remarked as. Uh, 11 years old, my first house party is broken up by the police. Yeah, we've, we've all been there. <laughs> year 12, I suffer from empty nest syndrome. I had kids? When did I have little head babies? This seems like something that you should have included. Nice move, head. Way to go. 13 years old. I make a love confession under the stars. That seems kind of inappropriate. Not gonna lie. Your 14 discovers a dark matter in his herb garden. Uh, is it the kind of herbs that you eat or the kind of herbs that you smoke? Because one of those makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs> You're 15. Why is he used car? It's no dark matter, but it will do. You're 16 and nominated for a Lifetime Achievement Award. That's right. <laughs> That's a, a different thing. Ooh, okay. I got something else. I really need to slow down to keep up with my life. This is so difficult to play and read at the same time. 17 years old. First by line in the early edition. I don't know what that means. Year 18, wrongly accused of cheating on final exam. Oh, no, no, no! This is what happens when you peer pressure kids into- Oh my god, I can't believe it! I died at the age of 21! Oh, what else did I have going for me? Joins an Italian avant-garde art collective, quits the company after shock breakup with lover. It was the lover that did it. Apparently making it to 20 years old is quite an achievement in my species because I was given a whole bunch of ghostly sperm and fire orbs, and now I can invest them in what exact? Oh, oh, God. Is that where we come from? Oh, the wolves are going to be pissed. <laughs> I don't want little anime cat ears. I, I mean, I guess I kind of do. What about this one? Can we grow you as well, you little freak? Ooh, look at that, the fancy do. Somebody please come roll in here and get him off. No, he's, he's just stuck. Okay, well, maybe we can invest in the golden one as well. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we got a Bob Ross head. That should help with the rolling nice and round. Is that you got anything else for me, head tree? Nothing? Okay, well, I guess we're uh, just going to keep playing this weird freaking game. I don't know if being round and symmetrical actually helps you or not. Like, would it give me more control or less control? I'm going to assume more. I'm going to assume Bob Ross is always the answer. So you just face plant into the dirt and then get to yelling. <laughs> Beautiful. You're going to have a great life. You were born in Cardiff and adopted right after birth. At one year old, you get chicken pox and missed playing the all-star game. The all-star game of what? What kind of all-star game are you participating in? No, Bob! And he's gone. Just like that. The good ones always die young. Three random games. And our final game for today is called 30 Flights of Loving. And some of you guys might actually remember that I played the prequel to this on the channel a couple of months ago called Gravity Bone. You know, they're really interesting little games. They always have a cool story to tell, but there isn't a whole lot of narration. 
So you gotta kind of interpret stuff as you go. You guys may want to consider shaving those mustaches. Like, it, it's nothing personal, but there was a guy in the 50s kind of ruined that style forever. <laughs> I'm sure you heard of him, right? By the looks of that language, you've probably heard of him. Charlie Chaplin? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard of him. I'm, I'm just gonna have a couple of drinks. Okay, yeah, you, you start a tab and I'll, I'll just drink away. What exactly am I drinking here? Canadian alcohol free beer. There's something weird about this place. As a Canadian, I can safely say beyond a shadow of a doubt that nobody here drinks alcohol free beer. So what's the catch with this place? This is clearly a front for something, right? There's gotta be something that I'm missing here. I knew it! <laughs> I friggin' knew it! Can I go back there? Is this like a scavenger hunt? Right? If you figure out the secret, then you're allowed in the club? I'm just gonna assume that nobody is gonna shoot me. Uh... Hi! I'm guessing you're Anita? Uh, how are you, Anita? Oh, uh, um, excuse me? Could I see that again real quick? <laughs> Demolitions Mechanic Sharpshooter Confectioner. Are we like Ocean's Eleven, but there's only four of us? <laughs> and can I please get some scotch or some Midnight Hobo? There we go, that, that's way better than what they're serving upstairs. Anita, I don't know if it was the fact that I just chugged a bottle of 7,000 proof vodka hall, but it looks like your leg and arm are robotic. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I got nothing against that. If you wanna bang, I'm still down. It's not like I have too many options down here. Hello, stranger. What have you got to say? Forger, safe cracker, plot best ma- Excuse me? Can I- a little slower, please. Forger, safe cracker, pilot best man. Okay, and you must be Borges. Nice to meet you, Borges. Uh, who's the goose? Hello? Oh! Oh, no! Ah, uh, you saw nothing! I think I may have killed our pet goose. I'm gonna take a gun and some bullets because you never know when the geese uprising will occur. <laughs> you didn't need a gun, did you? You didn't need these guns, did you? I need four. I, I clearly need four for um this plan. Yeah, that that's that's a very important plan. All right, well, uh, you guys enjoy the midnight hobo and. <laughs> I will be, oh, I knew the uprising would occur. Oh, they have children. Crap. Uh, if they make a move, I blow them away. That's how this works, right? Borges, Borges, it's time to take off. Am I the pilot? Oh, we're just sitting in the plane. Well, no, if we're gonna be sitting back here alone for a little bit, then maybe we could, Jesus Christ. Anita. You've seen better days. What, are, is everything cool? Did I do this? Can I help you? Oh, okay, she she seems upset. Is it the robotic leg comment? I'm, I'm gonna just be on my way. No, Borges! I got you, buddy. We'll get you out of here. Didn't need to do this. Rose before hose. Oh no. D don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll, we'll figure, oh, police blimps. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I just got tossed into this. <laughs> We're like Oceans 3, this sucks. What's the clicking? What's the clicking? Uh, uh, where, where, where are we going? Oh, 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 yeah, get, get this crap out of the way. There we go, that's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. We're going to Zimbabwe. We're going to Zimbabwe. That's gonna make everything a whole lot easier. Don't worry. I gotta get out of here. I'm definitely going in the right direction, right? That... Um. What? 
You see what I mean about a really interesting story, but not a whole lot of narration? Three beds? It's a shame. I was really hoping there would only be two. How are you doing? Just glittering? It's cool, I suppose. Uh, can I have one? Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, we could just throw peels around together. How's that for a, a bonding experience? <laughs> Please don't go on to shoot Borges. Borges? Borges? Wasn't she... Okay. So we're going to... What, a wedding? Yeah, we're going to a wedding. Okay, yeah, and you were supposed to be the best man. I'm on my way. Guys, there's so many stairs. We've been climbing for like five minutes now. <gasps> Was I supposed to grab something? Did you guys want that box of tangerines, or... Like, I, I could take some of that moon hobo, or whatever the hell it was called. <laughs> I'm really confused right now. Hey! Oh, it's a rooftop wedding. Who brought their Nintendo Switch? How are you doing? Didn't you shoot me at one point? I feel like I hit on you and you shot me at one point. I would definitely remember that blocky physique. God, where, where did my friends go? You weren't gonna finish that moon hobo, were you? Oh, apparently they were. Midnight hobo, that's that's what I meant. <gasps> I just wanna get drunk and hit on everybody. That's how you work a wedding, right? I mean, look at all the flat tops around here. I could definitely uh, pull in a lady or two. Oh, you're the bride, so sorry. So, look at that. How's that for a wedding gift? You got a gold fan and... A lifetime supply of Midnight Hobo, literally. Nobody is going to survive that much Midnight Hobo. I think I'm going to stop making a butt of myself and sit down. Am I... Am I toasting right now? I didn't actually prepare a toast. Oh, thank God it's him. I'm not really up to date on my, uh, Charlie Brown teacher speak. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're not gonna drink, we're just gonna ride the hobo. Oh, yeah. That's what 7,000 proof vodka haul will do to you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Okay, the cats have been reproducing. Oh, we're going home together. Just watch out for the police van, but oh my god, I knew it. Oh, you still- She still had legs and arms! She had perfectly good legs and arms there. But we're back here again. How are you doing? You're fine? He's fine. He's, he's perfectly fine. I'm gonna take this and this, just in case. Uh... May have broken my legs on the way down. Uh, I can still jump, though. Anita? Or just, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't care that much about your life. I was about to bang Anita and you interrupted me. <laughs> I mean, I, I could try to get you some maple victory. That, that, that'll that fix your upright good. There we go, yeah, maple victory. Alcohol-free drink. You could just pour that in your wounds and it won't actually do anything because it has no alcohol, but, uh, oh. Armed robbery, conspiracy, forgery, bootlegging. Winston Borges, aliases, Mo Golden. You really chose the nickname Mo Golden? <laughs> you deserve to get shot in the tits. Oh, okay. Good move, good move, Mo. You really, you really nailed it. I'm just gonna, there we go. Way to go, bud. You guys have no idea how impressive it is to pull off that move in a suitcase dolly when you're bleeding to death. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go, Borges. Okay, it's a 50-50 chance that it leads us right back to the same place. Okay. Shoot, 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 you, you shoot, I drive, you shoot, I drive. There we go, okay. We're just gonna co-op this, take down the, the birds. There, there's a lot of birds, okay, don't, don't worry about the birds, worry about the police. Why, why are we shooting the birds? Shoot the police, shoot the police! The cameras are gonna get you, Borges! No, we're not gonna let them get to us! Um, that lady that was lying down wasn't Anita. 
It was the chick that shot me in Gravity Bone, the red-headed lady, right? Is this a prequel or a sequel? I'm so confused right now. I, I shouldn't be going towards the police. Hey, guys. Have you seen my game textures? Oh, oh, crap. Oh, okay. Hey, well, we're just, we're just gonna run from them. Or just, we're in enough trouble. Do you really need to get us another star on the wanted level? Can you... Can you not? You're not gonna escape to Mexico with that midnight hobo. <laughs> uh, or maybe we will. Hey. Hi. Maybe you should, um, focus on the, the road. The road. Well... That's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. And that's the game. Three random games. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of three random games, guys. And could they get any more random than this? Honestly, I had my poopy butthole recorded. I screamed as a head who was raised by wolves. And this, whatever this was, I liked all of it. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.